Hi there and welcome to Hoo-Ha Sports Today as we pick up the pieces on what's going on at the Wimbledon Championships and revert back to the Premier League transfer news with managers being appointed and a young addition to Manchester United squad will happen in the coming hours. But it's the grasslands that gets us started with results from day three and what's coming up today at Wimbledon. Well, the top seats are still in it but not without some scares along the way and there were some unexpected casualties. Let's first glance at the women's results from yesterday. Venus had an epic battle with the ageless Kimiko Date Krum losing the first set in spectacular fashion but bouncing back in the second to march on and won it in 6-7, 6-4 and 8-6. However, top seeds Vera Zvonareva and Victoria Azarenka progressed with straight set victories. Sadly, American Bethany Matic Sands was booted up by unseeded and little-known Japanese Misaki Doi while another Asian, China's Zheng Chi, also made it through and they will meet each other in the next round. Britain Soap and Kota Wong bowed out to 8 seed Petra Kitova and we will see Agnieszka Rawanska and Andrea Petkovic in the next round. Today's lineup sees, well, no surprises that everyone in Asia is keeping tabs on Lina's progress at Wimbledon and she takes on Sabine Lasiki. Caroline Wozniacki and Serena Williams are in action as well. Frances Marin Bartoli goes up against Lutz Dominguez Lino of Spain, while Li Nas Kopetri Peng Shuai plays homegirl Elena Baltacha. And we will also see Francesca Schiavoni, Anna Ivanovic and Svetlana Kuznetsova taking to the courts as well. In the gentlemen's draw, no casualties, but there were some seeded dropouts. So here are some of the selected results just before we look at who's in action today. Nadal, the two Andes and Thomas Burdich all picked up straight set wins to progress to the next round. But 21st seed Fernando Verdasco and 25th seed Juan Ignacio Cella lost to Robin Haas of the Netherlands and Alex Bogomolov Jr. of the US, while the two Frenchmen got a ticket to take the boat to the next round. And so, in action today will be Novak Djokovic who meets South African Kevin Anderson while Roger Federer takes on Adrian Maraniro with both expected to progress with ease. Robin Soling is not having lady luck with the draw. After a tough win over Philip Pechner the day before, he now faces Australian Leighton Hewitt. David Ferrer and Joe Wilfred Songa are also expected to move on to the next round as they meet little known opposition. But John Eisner, or John Isner rather, who claimed another victory over Nicholas Mahu in less dramatic fashion, plays another nick, Almagro from Spain. While Victor Troitschke and Jürgen Melter should be cautious of their little known opponents, but the two seeded boys are expected to win their encounters today. So, there you go, nice and prime for today's Wimbledon action. Time for transfer news from the Premier League. So it's confirmed that Porto's manager and one-time Jose Mourinho's backroom staff, Andreas Vilas Borges, has been appointed as Chelsea's new manager. The Portuguese, who led Porto to a perfect no-loss season, arrived at Stamford Bridge to take over the position, left vacant after the departure of Carlo Ancelotti. It's been reported that Roman Abramovich paid the £13 million release clause. Vilas Borges commented on the rapid change of events by saying, The last few days have been crazy. It was something that happened like a bombshell. Most important thing is to be here and try to project a great future for the club." Unquote. Well, obviously, everyone will be making comparisons to Jose Mourinho's time at Chelsea with so many links to the special one, working with him at Porto, Chelsea and Inter Milan. But Villas Bosch, who led Porto to the domestic double and was the youngest manager to win a Europa League trophy at 33, was quick to respond to these notions and said, It's not about my arrival. It's about the, the continuous success of this club. So, uh, I mean, there's no doubt that, that the, the challenges for me is to, is to keep winning. Uh, and, and I've been an individual that, that, uh, that has that hunger for success. And I want to, to, I want to keep it that way. Confident fella, speaks well too. But can he give Abramovich the Champions League title that is his precious, isn't it? So now the Masters will move their pawns and with the possibility of Porto's star striker Ramadel Falcao wanting to follow Vilas Bosch, could this see Didier Drogba moving out? Former Blues Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank thinks so. That story is coming up tomorrow. But over at Manchester United, well, they look set to be signing Aston Villa's Ashley Young as the midfielder boarded a plane to Manchester for a medical. It's expected the deal is to be worth around £15 million. More details will follow in the hours ahead. And we will bring you the possible confirmation in tomorrow's edition if the deal is done. Which means I have to end it here for today. Thanks for logging on and from the team and I, it's bye for now.